What's up guys, Coach Jeremy here with a new product from Hockey Shot. Not just any product, this one is from Alexander Barkov. They did a collab, this is a full training kit. It says right here you can dangle like Barkov. Well, I mean, obviously it takes more than a product to do that. Uh, so I figured, hey, if they want me to do a review of the product, why don't I teach you how to dangle like Barkov? And then I thought, well, and that's not really enough. Well, I might as well get Barkov in the video. So I just gave him a quick Zoom call and uh, yeah, we'll get that later on in the video. But first, let's take a look at some of his highlights. I'll set this up. We'll talk to Barky a little bit later on in the vid. Let's go. Hello. Oh, that's going up on the wall. In the kit, we've got 10 tiles, four edge stoppers, four foam rebounding pieces. We get one dry land puck, reactive sniper, which is an electronic device that flashes in accordance with the stickers that we put on the tiles. And also a, a little card here that has a coupon for a free training guide by Alexander Barkov. Pretty sweet, let's set it up. There we go, all set up and uh, man, my tiles need some Colgate. Uh, how this works is we have colored dots on all these tiles. So each of these tiles coincides with that arrow. So top left is the top left. And then we wait for the next one. We got top right, green. So we got to stick handle the green dot on the top right. We got blue, bottom left. You got a stick handle right there. You can change the speed of this as well. So it's gonna go faster and slower. It's a good way to just keep on challenging yourself. So where do I have to go? Move the puck, quick hands, uh, read the ice and quickly move the puck. So you're thinking you're moving the puck at the same time. Now I know you guys want to learn how to dangle like Barkov. So let's check the highlight reel. The first move we're gonna work on is catching the pass behind the back, then bring it through the legs to control it. We can do this using the Barkov kit. It has the rebounder, so pass on to the rebounder, catch it through the legs, and then back around, do it again. What we're working on here is just open the blades and catch that pass, feather it until it gets behind you, and then use the top hand, just twist a little, and then I'll give you a little bit of toe, and then tuck that puck so you can catch it. And then right here, you activate the toe and pull it through. Let's go back to the fundamentals. I noticed a little bit of a pattern how Barkov likes to handle the puck. What I noticed is that he'll do a few handles in front, he'll quickly move the puck a little bit, and then handle it a few more times, and then quickly move it again and handle it a few more times. So he kind of interchanges where he's handling the puck, keeps the defenders and the goalies thinking. How we can do this using the kit. Start with the puck in front of you, quickly move the puck, stick handle, and then quickly move it to another edge. A few more soft touches, and quickly move it again behind. So Barkov likes to handle it in front, off to an end, but 45, and then behind as well. And he can move it really quickly from one of those areas to the next to the next, keeps the defender and the goalie thinking. One last move, how about the one hand tuck? Barkov has pulled this off a bunch of times in the NHL. So starts with the puck in front, moves it to the side to threaten the shot, then the fake to the forehand, back to the backhand, tucks it in. So here we go, threaten the shot, deke, backhand, tucks it in. Let's set up and do it. If you want to start a little easier, you can just put a little obstacle like this box you got from your kit, kind of tuck in there and just look for a little space here. Basically, you pull this off, the goalie's going to stretch his pads out, so you want to be able to tuck it right in this little spot here. So you can start just sticking it on this side of the net, and work on just trying to jam it right in that little spot. Once you build that up and you're pretty confident doing that, you can do it over and over. Then you can work on throwing the fake shot, one move, and then go in there. Make it a little more complicated so you can really sell it to the goalie. It's all about that imagination. Yeah, think like you're in the game. So let's see, we're approaching. Move, make it look like you're shooting this way, this way. Oh, oh, that's a goal, count it. All right, that's enough from me. Let's go talk to Barkov himself, see what tips he has to help you guys improve. He's got this kit at his home in Finland, so we're gonna head over there, and I'll top on the Zoom call, talk to Barky. What are some of your go-to moves in the game, and did you ever practice those off the ice? It's tough to say if I have, like, moves that I do every time, but uh, right now I'm thinking, like, I have a long reach, I have a long stick, long arm, so it's like, if I stick handle here and try to put the puck here and then add a couple of steps to it, like this. Yeah. And I try to put the puck here as far as I can and then just go this way. So I have a long reach and long, long stick. It's tough for the defenseman to stay with me. Like, uh, I'm not fast, but at least I have a long reach. So. Hey, not a bad move. I've uh, I've watched a lot of tape, and I, I think even Gordy Howe, that was his go-to as well. It's just dri drive down the ice and sidestep everybody. Can't go wrong. It's a classic. Can you show some good drills to warm up before a game or practice? Try to stick just like regular stuff. Stick handle here on the left side, right side, backhand, forehand. Uh, reach far away, close, like 
close to the feet. So you will feel a lot better in the game. Like I'm pretty sure you've seen seen so many different guys doing it before the game. Yeah, definitely. I noticed uh, your top hand very active. That seems uh, important to get that those nice puck touches. Yeah, uh, it, it is pretty pretty important too. Like to move both hands. And this one, you have to slide slide your left hand or the bottom hand a lot so you can reach forward, stick handle here nearby. So, do you have any drills that you used to do when you were a kid? Do you remember anything that you felt helped you improve your skills when you were a younger player? I think I had better imagination when I was younger. So, when I was skating by myself and outdoors, or always thinking about like some defenseman or somebody somebody in front of me or trying to catch me or a good goalie in the net so yeah i had a lot of a lot of imagination going like between my legs or uh, michigan or yeah. like all all those moves watching a lot of that too for patrick kane in uh, youtube and trying to do the same move on outdoor can you think of, uh, say, th three things that you think is really important for kids to practice to get better at stick handling? First of all, it has to be fun. Like, e everything in hockey has to be fun. Like, it, it can be too serious, like, when you're outdoors or stick handling or, like, shooting around with your friends. It can be too serious. You have to be able to have fun. And, and then, like, once you get better, you have gotta, you got to try new moves. you got to try more backhand stuff and stuff like that so you're not only on, the, on your forehand you gotta watch watch a lot of youtube videos i'm not gonna say paul barber but i'm gonna <laughs> say everybody else yeah yeah he's, he's such a plug good advice i know it seems like a trend anytime that i've read a book from an nhl player or or you know talk to an nhl player um their parents weren't forcing them to go to the rink and i'm guessing that was the case you were begging your parents probably to go to the rink and to play more hockey pretty thankful for them to take so much time and spend with me on the outdoors and stuff like that. It's not, I know it's not easy to be outside all day and just watch me skate. Do you have any tips for beating the defenseman? Any uh, certain thing that you look for when you're on the ice that you, where you know you got the guy? It depends on the situation. Like if you have a lot of speed, then that, that, that's probably the move. But if you don't have enough speed, you gotta, you gotta be confident. Like mm -hmm. that took is pretty good to the example with that like he knows how to protect the puck when somebody else is like really close he he actually like he doesn't touch the puck he takes your stick away yeah and that's a really good move there you have it the alexander barkov training system with some tips from barkov himself if you guys want to dangle like barkov head over to hockey shot star you can grab this kit i did like having that reactive training it keeps you thinking looking scanning moving the puck and it pushes you a little bit outside your comfort zone doing those little moves that you wouldn't normally do in your training so uh, definitely check it out like the rebounders and also you can use that for shooting for stick handling and for working your passing as well so it's a, a three-in-one skill system if you want to grab it head over to the hockey shot site uh, thanks a lot for watching the video see you guys in the next one